Guten Tag, good people of Fairbury. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Sir Friedrich Liebchen. We are here at the Midwest Renaissance Fair in Omaha, Nebraska. We are here to find the Holy Grail. It is here somewhere. Come with us. We will go look for it. Dankeschön. Guten Abend, good citizens of Fairbury. We are here with Chivalry for Children. Here at the Midwest Renaissance Fair in Omaha. Well, first off, I would like to know, we are looking for the Holy Grail. You would not happen to know where it is, would you? Possibly, yes. Possibly? Hmm, we will have to talk. What do you do as a Chivalry for Children? Well, the purpose of the program is to talk to children about the virtues that it takes to be a knight. Yes, we talked to them a little bit about the history and the symbols of what knighthood means. But mostly this program is to teach them the seven virtues that a knight must possess to truly be a knight. And what seven virtues are? We have selected these virtues from all over the world, both Oriental and Western sources. We use charity, courtesy, courage, humility, honesty, loyalty, and perseverance. And if you possess these seven virtues, this will make you a knight. Yes. Do you have to be knighted by an individual? Or can you declare yourself a knight? The accolade is simply an acknowledgement of the status of the individual that is already present. Ah. Very good. You do not need to undergo the accolade in order to be a knight. You are or you are not. Ah, you are a knight in your heart, like a priest. Yes. Yeah. And I believe we have a good Sir Knight here. Sir, your name? Axel Hans von Kleinstadt, mein Herr. Wie geht es Ihnen? Wie geht's? Was ist das? Was ist das? <laughs> Und was would you, uh, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? What would you say you bring to teach the children as well? Are you here for an example? I certainly hope not. I know that I am a less than pristine example of knighthood. I am here to show them that by attempting to do so, they may become a knight. I talk to them about courage. And the most important thing that I will tell a child is, courage does not mean you're not afraid. Courage means that you do what needs to be done even when you are afraid. That's very wise. And sir, who have we here? I'm William Adams. I was the first Englishman to be knighted samurai under the Tokugawa shogunate. I bring to this program the international aspects and the fact that being a knight is possible for all, uh, wherever they may be. I teach the virtue of loyalty, which is the most valued by samurai. We're Ian and Angus McCracken. We have a golf challenge. Although we're not doing it today, we're out here glad handing and schmoozing. What questions would you like to ask? <laughs> well, what, uh, what brought you to the, this uh, profession of yours? Desperation. I, desperation and our wives pushing us to do this. I, they love it. <laughs> if it wasn't for the support of our wives, we wouldn't be the men that we are, that you see today. I can understand that. <laughs> now, Actually, let's set the record straight. <laughs> Our wives think we're nerds for doing this. Let's be honest. Now, uh, I guess the question is, most people I've uh, discovered their wives do not like them playing golf all the time. <laughs> and yours do. Does uh, they apparently, say something about you? Actually, they don't. Ah. The only... Th actually, actually, my... <clears throat> My wife would rather have me playing golf than doing this. <laughs> when it comes right down to it, all we are is historical carnies. <laughs> That's about I, I, I couldn't have said it better myself, Ian. And I did last week. <laughs> you bastard, you're stealing my lines. <laughs> if you had anything under that kilt to back it up, I might be afraid. <laughs> Is it Mary Key, Queen of Scots? If it's not, I'm not bowing to it. <laughs> yes. Wait a minute. I was just thinking I was just coming. Was that English Queen? No, I'm actually. 
Spanish. Spanish. Right the up. Spanish. What's a Spanish? That's one step above a Mexican. <laughs> What's that politically incorrect? What's a Spaniard doing this close to Scotland? <laughs> it's the fried fryer. <laughs> All the boil. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, the man's in constant pain. You're saving money on salt and rock. This morning he was saying he'd put on olive oil, so I said, well, if you're going to fry, you might as well yeah, fry yeah. on something a little more healthy. Hey, let, let me introduce to you our gay friend here <laughs> and his beard, Marion. Right, yeah. I'm how just kidding. You you'll get away before I hit you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He'll stick an arrow in me. At, Three paces. <laughs> I was just, it was just a play off the men in tights. No offense. These aren't that tight. <laughs> no, you're the most masculine Robin Hood I've seen in quite some I, time. Without the green tights, it's just not doing it. <laughs> so, what are you taking the film for then? We are going to be putting this on the Sound Off Fairberry website for the people of the, the good people of Fairberry, Nebraska. Ah, Fairberry! And not where they sell those red wieners. I heard there's only two things in Fairberry. Steers and queers. Now which one are you like? <laughs> now you can edit that out. <laughs> You better quit spending so much time laughing at yourself. <laughs> I haven't learned how to laugh in Scottish yet. <laughs>